Alpaca Knights versus Buster Lives Matter. Okay, now we've got things on the right-hand side, guys. All right, so we've got Team 1 on the left-hand side, Alpaca Knights. And on the right, Team 2, we've got Buster Lives Matter. Whew. All right. So. Um, okay. Very interesting. I want to see. So you can see that they're all putting their turbines down below, which is where they should be. Once again, this map is created by Shaylong. You can see the very cool um, artwork that he does in his maps using the Terraria uh, environment pack. Super good. Super, super good. Um, okay. Seeing Armory. Armory out of that team. And Armory, Armory. Very interesting. I was really hoping to see some mortars. I would like to see some mortars. I'm very interested to see how they decide to build these. Um... It'd be nice to see some tier two technology, to be honest, and just dumpster them with with Howies, or something really cool. But if you have that early game aggression, as we guys have seen, if they could bust out, you know, things like rockets and shotguns, it's going to be really difficult to get that tier two technology out uh, without defending against that kind of stuff first. See Felix here selling off some of his resources to try and gain an advantage here. He is making adjustments, trying to bring that out so he hasn't figured out how, how to make this more uh structural i'll give you guys a rundown on how to do this he's kind of got it figured out i'll give you guys a, a quick rundown here real fast about the, the best way to make this super super strong so if you come in here you want to build down here to build a node and then down here to build a node that gives you the opportunity to build here like so and then here like so and then you can use these cross bracings there if you want to and then expand that up but this is the best way to make this uh, as strong as possible here in this map so for you guys just checking this out that's how that works felix bringing out those rockets <coughs> shotguns are happening here from lance and shield oh but joe apocalypse is ready first oh man oh man Woo! slug fast Rock is coming in, going to disable those shotguns to give Lance and Shield the opportunity to make a comeback. Felix Wahonimus about to let Rage Alert know he's there, firing his minigun. Rockets coming out of Rage Alert. It's looking... Oh, man. Tier 1. Tier 1 technology base building. I love it. Rockets coming across. It's looking like Felix minigun was on cooldown. I don't know if that did any core damage. See what's happening here. Rage Alert going to apply some pressure. Joe Apocalypse dead. Oh! What? What? Did you guys see that? He was like... That was insane. That was insane. What a shot. Just picking that apart. Just picking that apart. Unbelievable. The pressure being applied to both teams right now. Seeing them not taking advantage of expanding. They're doing full eco here. Less eco here. Rage Alert's not going to be able to sustain that kind of pressure for very long. They did get the weapons out sooner, but they don't have... They're not going to have the resources to keep up with the repairs. Joe Apocalypse is going to run into himself having to pay and rebuild that, that metal armor that he's placed out in the front. With no mines. That's going to be difficult. Oh, this is intense. Joe Apocalypse taking a beating. Needs to get down another mine to have the resources to keep up the repairs. It's looking like it's looking like the Alpaca Knights are going to have a commanding lead in this one. Just going to make another adjustment here. Do one of these things while we're while we're hanging out here. And one is down. Joe Apocalypse is gone.
Okay, having an issue here making this edit go down here. Joe Apocalypse has been taken out by Rage Alert. Not by Rage Alert. Rage Alert is the only one remaining. There we go. This is intense, guys. This is intense. And that's game number one, guys. GG. There we go. First updated. Let's take a look at the bracket. Alpaca Knights versus Buster Lives Matter. All right, guys, we're here in the next game again on the left hand side. Team number one, Alpaca Knights, and on the right, team number two, Buster Lives Matter. So, <laughs> it would be very cool to see some tier two technology come out of this game. You can see here that they're both placing down workshops this time instead of armories. What are these guys doing? That was uh, Felix just letting Joe know that he's there, knocking on his door, saying hello. Workshops again. Upgrade center looking like Felix is probably going to do something to do with his armor piercing sniper. Oh man. So many gunners. So I'm thinking that, that Felix is going to apply some pressure here. He's going straight. Upgrade center right off the bat and workshop. Deciding not to use rockets on this map. The big question is, why? Felix, can we apply some more pressure? Hitting Joe Apocalypse, making him spend resources to repair that metal. In the front, Rage Alert. Spending very little resources, getting his turbines as far back as possible. Try and keep them protected. Not repairing this. Saving the resources right there. Very smart. Very, very smart. Lance and shield. So you're getting ready to drop down the next tier of technology. It's going to be interesting to see. Felix. Sticking with this. He's going to go with a, with a, an AP sniper. I don't know how much damage an AP sniper is going to be able to do here in this specific match. So all he's done is decide to get the AP sniper out quickly. Uh, and then dropping down the armory afterwards. So you're gonna see yes We're gonna see some tier 2 technologies guys. We're gonna see some awesome awesome damage I'm hoping he's gonna go cannons and not howitzers Just because I'd like to see some cannons in the game There's only one Are we gonna see multiple cannons? That's what I want to see Felix applying some pressure here deciding not to add another gunner He's gonna do some Okay, so he's going to be the defensive guy. Unless he goes shotguns. We'll have to see. Not sure exactly what Felix is planning here, but it's going to be probably shotguns because Lance and Shield is going to go howitzers. Howitzers are going to come out here and apply some pressure. So. That's going to be the big question here. So these will be upgraded into shotguns. That's why his upgrade center came first. Getting that AP sniper, building them into shotguns. Perfect. Which means that these are going to be howitzers. And the howitzers are going to start raining on the parade. Rage alert. Oh, going for nukes. Nukes into shotguns. Double nukes out of these guys. That means that Felix is going to be put on defense to make sure that he's protected. I hope in... That Felix doesn't double fire those shotguns. He's going to need it because if they fire one volley, then Joe Apocalypse drops in with another volley. That's going to connect and do some serious damage. Okay, so now they're trying to decide how they're going to go about this. They've just realized that Felix has built shotguns into their nukes. This is going to be intense. Reminder, guys, that the Alpaca Knights have already won one game, which means if they win this one, they move on to the Grand Finals. Losers, head down to take on the Tryhards. Man, this could be very, very interesting. This could be very interesting in the Grand Finals. So the loser of the finals in the lower bracket will take third place. Unfortunately, there is no consolation prize in this tournament. 
but hopefully in the months to come that will change that would be very very nice if it did that Felix knocking on some doors I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. So Buster Lives Matter might be taking on the tryhards. In this. We're just chilling here. We're just we're just relaxed. It's looking like we're gonna see cannons and not howitzers. I'm really glad to see this. I'm surprised, considering that shotguns, I would have naturally thought that howitzers would have been coming out here. We're going to see cannons. As long as we don't see 20s, I think we'll be good to go. Unless they're doing... Buster 20s actually would have been awesome. Actually, it would have been nicer to see um, Jopocalypse and Rage Alert do that. They should have picked Buster and gone 20s or something. It would have been kind of fun to see in this tournament. Would have been spectacular. Oh! There we go. Shot has been done. Felix gonna be on the shotguns. Which ones are gonna connect? Lance and Shield has got the uh, armor out in the front there and does the wood spam to hopefully tank those uh, warheads coming in at him. Felix using his shotguns to defend himself against his volley, attacking his base. Rage Alert getting the spam going on. Felix trying to disconnect his economy there, Rage Alert's economy. Taking that out, firing some rockets to do a little bit of damage. It's good. I'm, I'm very interested to see if Jopocalypse is going to try and tank all of this dumb, or he's going to try and get some doors, maybe with some gunners. It's going to be an interesting combination of how, how this is going to happen here. I'm on the uh, I'm on the seat of my pants here, guys, trying to figure out what's going on here. Nukes are going to be launched. Are they going to be taken out? Let's see what can happen here. Simultaneously firing, they've got gunners. Shotguns taken out, and Lassen Shield handles it like a boss. If I were these guys, I would be contemplating a technology switch. I don't think nukes are going to be working here. That was a bold strategy. I don't think it's going to pay off for these two. I think Buster Lives Matter is going to be up against the tryhards in the lower bracket. Again, very surprised that the Nuffle crew was taken out by Squaren. Very, uh, that was a very, very interesting upset we had. Very interesting upset. Just amazing. Oh, there we go. Getting some sniper damage done. They seem to be committed to the warhead type play. Rockets are going to start draining this economy. There is no way they can sustain rocket type damage only on three mines. It's not going to happen. Rage alert. Suffering here. This is going to be dangerous. You can see Rage Alert going to be dwindling out of supplies here very quickly. Lance and Shield tanking this like a moss. Not repairing this because all the nuke has to do, all the warhead has to do is connect here, right? It doesn't matter how... Oh, that RNG. The drunk nuke. What? 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 Lance and Shield. That RNG. Did you guys see that? The drunk nuke RNG. That was insane. Unbelievable. I was not expecting that. That was insane! I, I'm speechless, guys. I have no words for that action right now. That was insane! They're gonna pull off. They might pull off a win. Unbelievable match, guys. Let's hit the FA button. You can see there we're eight minutes in. Six minutes and 45 seconds remaining left on the timer. I am absolutely speechless in what just happened there. I cannot believe that Lance and Shield got taken out because of drunk nukes. That just goes to show you how volatile and how dangerous drunk nukes can be. I'm wondering if those were manually controlled gunners done by Felix. He's got his work cut out for this one. If he can win this round for his team, he will have pushed 
Buster lives matter into the lower bracket. If he loses this one, we're going to round three. Oh, I cannot believe that Lancer Shield was taken out by that. That unbelievable RNG from Drunk Nukes. What an upset. What an upset. Felix trying to trying to uh, diversify the damage, spreading it throughout all of the bases. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, Felix in a bad way right now. Felix in a bad way right now. Double nukes. Or quadruple nukes, I guess. Double nukes out of each opponent. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, you guys. Checking this out. Looking at all the damage coming in here. Joe Apocalypse. Spamming that just still working on three mines. Very ballsy strategy. Going for that nuke rush. I'm I'm uh I'm quite surprised. I can't believe Lance and Shield was taken out by that. I really would like to see Felix trying to make a grab for this base. I'd really like to see that. Nukes. Rockets. All sorts of projectiles. I'm very, very surprised that they have no defense. They're just using wood spam as their, as their defense. Felix struggling hardcore here. Gonna try and pull something out. Oh, gunners coming handy here. Allowing his firing the nuke staggered like that are gonna allow the gunners to recharge. He's got his shotgun for defense still. There it is. Felix single handedly holding off. Buster Lives Matter. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the match. What are we gonna see here? These guys are playing for all the money in the world. Oh man. Felix, get your gunner in there, buddy. You've got five mines. It's gonna be based on core damage here. He's gotta get more damage on their cores. You can see Rage Alert is smoking. I don't know if Joe Apocalypse has taken any core damage. I can't see there what's happening. Felix is definitely on the back ropes here right now. Oh no. There we go. Taking some more damage down. We need to get some damage on. Oh no. Oh no, Felix, buddy. Having a rough go. This is dangerous. Felix fighting tooth and nail. He really needs to grab the economy of his teammates. Old base. Get that shotgun on cooldown, buddy. Get that shotgun on cooldown. Two minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the match. Is this one going to go into game three? No, GG. Wow. Wow. What an upset. Game number three, Alpaca Knights versus Buster Lives Matter. Okay, guys, same as before, Alpaca Knights on the left-hand side. And we're looking at Buster Lives Matter on the right. Team number two. Let's see what kind of cool gameplay is here. These guys are absolutely going for the armories. So essentially, you're looking at normal bases. They go for um, uh, workshops. And on wall-mounted or vertical bases such as this, it tends to be armory. So we're going to see a lot of that, uh, a lot of that crazy uh, early game rush and suppression 
very surprised to see them building downwards versus upwards to expand their economy. I figured if you did a box here and then move upwards, you can place your turbines up here. That's how uh, Shay Long and I experimented with the map. We found that to be better uh, and also gets you closer to grabbing your economy. However, so similar to this, right? And then you build up and up so you can place another turbine above it and then you can connect to your mines right there. Seeing the instant upgrade center. Ooh, upgrade center is, is kind of devious because they're not going to know whether or not it was an armory or a workshop. A pack of knights. Woo! So ideally, too, uh, guys down here at the bottom of the screen, I would love to have the numbers of which round has been taken. It just adds a little bit extra stuff for me to do, and uh, it just wasn't wasn't feasible at this time. But in the future, we're going to have that all taken care of. Not a problem. Oh, man. That last round. What an upset. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Crazy. What are we going to see here? Taking advantage. This is something I we talked about with Nitro Muse when he made this map. About having weapon positions already in place. Um, and whether or not they want to build outwards to make it happen. You can see Lance and Shield decides not to use that. Um... Size place a sniper there. What are we going to see? Two mines, three mines. So Rage Alert not expanding his economy. He's going to try and do this on two mines. I would like to see the sniper taking advantage. They've got it covered. Sniping. Take advantage of this. Mines cost a lot to repair. They can put in some serious work there if they decide to go that route. Ramming in the shotguns. Oh, Felix going for his AP sniper. I believe we called him Gary. For those of you guys that haven't checked out the AI tournament, the casting, I have a video posted on YouTube of the AI tournament. It's pretty awesome. Great shot there. Oh, no. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. I was hoping that they would have some more defenses up this early. That's going to be in a bad way. He's only on two mines. Rage Alert's going to be out here real fast. Joe Pocalitz needs to help his teammate. Needs to have his teammate selling off the metal to try and get something done here. Rage alert in a bad way. He didn't expand his economy. He's running on two mines. He's not repairing. He's not building. He's not doing anything. There he goes. He's opened up the... Wow. That teamwork. Unbelievable. Rage Alert's in a bad way right now. Rage Alert in a bad way. Having a hard time connecting that node. Not good. Not good. Core damage has been done. Rage Alert is gonna... Is he gonna go down? Changing targets. Reply pressure. That's it. Rage Alert is gone. Rage Alert is gone. Joe Apocalypse gonna have a hard time coming in here. That was an insane match, you guys. That's it. GG. Wow. All right, guys, that was a crazy match. Let's change our, uh, change our overlay.